Hi everyone, my name is Lex. I am a family law attorney here in California, and I run a blog called theproblemgaze.com and The Problem Gaze on Instagram. And on my blog and Instagram, I talk about all things gay dating, marriage, and divorce, including the related issues of adoption, gay parenting, surrogacy, and insemination. So I have the great opportunity here to partner with Gays With Kids, and they've asked me to go through some of the legal steps involved in these common gay parenting scenarios. Um, so that's what I've been doing in this video series, and this last part of the series is going to cover some of the legal steps involved in other gay parenting scenarios. So what are some other common gay parenting scenarios other than the typical adoption, surrogacy, or insemination? Um, well, a number of times I hear that a uh, gay man, for instance, has a child from an existing or prior uh, relationship. So what if a uh, gay man came out later in life and he has a child from a prior heterosexual relationship and you now want to be the parent to that child. Um, you've become a parent to that child through the relationship and you want to make it official. Or another common one is what if a gay person has had a child with a friend um, instead of going through, for instance, adoption or surrogacy, they had a friend, a woman or man that was willing to donate the egg or sperm and they ha now have a child through that friendship and you want to confirm your rights um, as the partner to that person of their child. So um, these are just some common alternative scenarios for um, gay parenting. There's also the uh, third concept of adult adoption. So if you've met someone later in life and they have an adult child, uh, perhaps you want to confirm yourself as a parent of that child. Um, so there's a few things you could do to make things official. Um, the first is going to be a step-parent adoption. So I did cover this in a prior video, but just so you know, a step-parent adoption is very simple as compared to a traditional adoption. So there's going to be no court hearing. You don't have to have an investigation or anything like that. All you have to do is that you have a relation to the birth parent of the child. So for instance, you would need to show that you are um, married to the uh, birth father or the birth mother of the child or you're in a registered domestic partnership. Once you've shown that, all you have to do is fill out some paperwork and file it with the court. The only real issue here is going to be if the second birth parent to that child does not want to terminate their parental rights. So earlier I spoke of the scenario where your gay dad partner, for instance, has a child from a prior hetero relationship. If that prior mom does not want to terminate her parental rights to the child, you cannot adopt this child. That's just not going to be allowed. If, though, that gay dad had a child with a friend and that friend just had the child, um, you know, kind of as a favor of friendship to the uh, dad and that parent, that birth mom, for instance, does not really want to be the mom of the child. She's willing to terminate her birth parental rights to the child. All you need to do is get something confirming that. So she'll need to sign off on the um, paperwork and then you would file it with the court. So the only real issue in a step parent adoption is if that second birth parent is not willing to give up their parental rights. If that's the case, you cannot adopt the child. Um, the only real other way to do it is to prove that there's been something like the birth, the second birth parent is unfit or has abandoned the child. Um, if that's the case, you would just present that to the court and they would evaluate that situation. So um, the other scenario I mentioned is you may want to do an adult adoption. So what are some common reasons people would want an adult adoption? Um, the question often is, they're already over 18, why would I want to adopt them? Um, one is that you may just want to confirm that you're the parent to that child. So you may have had a large part in the raising of that child and now you want to confirm it with the court. Um, that's certainly one reason. The most popular reason I would say is for inheritance purposes. So if you have a will or trust that kind of spells out what should go to your children, um, you would want a court order that basically says that you have adopted that child and that is legally your child even if they are an adult. So I would say that's one really common issue um, and reason you would do an adult adoption. And then finally, there may be the case where the child has some sort of medical care need or disability that's ongoing into their adulthood and you defining yourself as the legal parent to that child will be helpful um, for medical purposes. So 
those are your scenarios there. Again, it's gonna be very simple. It's just gonna be paperwork. Um, and you're gonna file that with the court. The only thing is that your partner will need to consent to the adult adoption. And then if the adult child is actually married, that adult child's uh, partner will also need to consent to the adoption to make things legal. But again, you would just fill out the paperwork and file it with the court. Um, so step parent adoptions and adult adoptions, those are some other uh, gay parenting scenarios and they are rather easy as long as there's no issue with the uh, other birth parent not willing to give up their rights. So hopefully this has been helpful to you. If you have any follow-up questions, my information is embedded in this article. I'd be happy to direct you to the appropriate resources. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.